I just received my first ever package from wish.com. <laughs> I can't even remember ordering it. But I remember downloading the app and I remember ordering a few things to be honest, but I've no idea what I actually ordered to be honest. I can't even remember. Um, I can't be bothered to go on the app. So this morning the post lady arrived and gave me a package from wish.com. I'm about to open it and I thought I'll share this magical moment with you all. Here we go. What could it be? What could it be? What's in the box? Ooh. It's new sunglasses. New sunglasses from police. I presume that's the well known brand. Probably children's size. <laughs> oh no. Oh, these are cool. Oh, new sunglasses. These are alright. Take me that off. Nice. They cost me the grand total of zero pounds, zero pence. These are free. I don't feel too bad. Take all the sticks off. We even got a little cleaning cloth. Give them a bit of a clean. What do you reckon? I do want they? For free. So. The first ever package from wish.com and I'm quite happy with that considering it was cost me nothing so uh, if you are in any doubt <laughs> like I was about using wish.com because some of the deals on that site or that app look ridiculously untrue but these yes they've taken about three weeks to arrive but they are a part of the free items you can order and you've got a little case look a card they know what to cast for it's uh, I don't know if you are in any doubt that wish.com is a bit of a scam I would say yes and no because obviously these have arrived but if you are interested in shopping on wish.com I will be very careful about you, about some of the photographs they use for instance there are a lot of adverts for drones to buy okay and some of the drones they have on show look a lot like they look a lot like this on the website or on the app okay but if you actually have a good look you'll realize that they're not these they are crappy little toys that they actually buy and sell. That's the post lady again. Right, so yes, as I was saying, what you need to do is if you're going to use wish.com, you need to read the descriptions very, very carefully. Don't just go by the photograph, okay? Photographs can be very misleading on wish.com. But, you know, when you sign up, you get a free gift. There are loads of things you can buy for one pound. And obviously sometimes you have to pay for the packaging, which is just more than a pound. But these arrived today, these literally did cost me one pound, job done, happy days. I think I should just about get away with using this for my day 33 of my 100 for my 100 days vlog challenge. I have now done 33 videos and hopefully today or tomorrow, I've got a new gadget arriving, which I should make new and improved videos with, touch wood. I think the only slight criticism I will make, and it's it's no big deal to be honest, but I have to make something worth the note criticising is packaging. <laughs> it's come from away from China in that little bag, so I'm quite surprised. I think it's damaged. But there you go, you can't have everything for a pound. That was also free, I can't remember. No more than a pound, because I made a promise to myself when I first signed up to Witch.com, I was never going to spend more than a pound on any item. Again, going back to the description issues, I was interested in buying socks. There are a lot of offers for buying socks, okay? And in the photograph, there would be like five pairs of socks for a pound, but when you looked at the actual description and read it properly, you'd realize that it's actually just one pair, one pair, but in the actual photograph, there's five pairs of socks, but it's just one in the description. Okay, so whatever you do, if you're gonna buy anything from wish.com, read the description. Don't just go buy the photograph. I've probably said that now three times in this one video, but it's very, very important, all right? I've looked at wish.com and I've looked at all the items on there and I think yes I'll buy that I go oh no actually it's not what it actually says on the tin all right so don't buy a drone from wish.com be careful with all the socks offers the only other thing I can remember trying to buy is a watch so there should be a watch coming as well I think there's one other thing I can't remember what it was I think I've ordered three things I'll have to look on the app later I'm sure my order's are on there somewhere um, but it's a very good app easy to use but just like I said be very very careful <laughs> With, oh, that looks unreal. That looks too good to be true. Because it is. All right, so don't go mad. Don't go spending hundreds of pounds. You may be disappointed. But if you're willing to spend a couple of quid and not being too fussed if you're going to lose money, that's what I did. I literally sat there with one of my kids and browsed through all the items. I only ordered things that cost a pound or free. There's a lot of free things on there. It's just pay for packaging, and the packaging is only, only a pound. I've made an agreement that, so look, if I spend a pound and nothing happens or I get scammed, I've lost a pound, no big deal. All right, so if you're willing to lose a pound or two, mess around with wish.com. My sunglasses has arrived, but it does say on the app that obviously there's no guarantee it'll be here the next day. Most of the stuff is coming from China, so 
you have to wait a little while, but they'll quid a pound. Job done. It's real.